people it's Cara here and I am so so mad and today I bring something completely new to you all I bring you a create the look I am just like everybody else thinking about plans for spring and summer and I have been truly drawn to the French style I love the color I love the wearability I love the the chic nature of what they wear and how they put them together and today I thought I'd share with you some of those ideas and inspiration and bring together some patterns that um, as home sewists we could create the look for a French style. So I've particularly been drawn to the Cezanne style of clothing. Um, Cezanne have boutiques all around the world um, and they have a high presence on um, Instagram as well, which is principally where I've been looking at their new collection. They have sort of mini launches quite often. Um, and so I've drawn some screenshots from across this recent season. Um, I'm gonna be scaring, sharing a lot of screenshots with you. Um, and I will put a link to the Suzanne website down below and obviously provide links to all of the um, patterns that I have been thinking about. So I thought I'd break this down into categories to make it slightly easier, but grab a cup of tea um, and let's get started. So, in tops, let's have a look and see. Now I have got a list with me because I've got so many ideas um, and inspiration that I want to share. Um, but there are a few key, key ingredients to the French look. Um, and they are all stylish, chic, um, and quite interchangeable actually. Um, and I know there's um, a view that Parisians wear black quite a lot. But luckily Cezanne isn't following that style um, specifically to, um, to black and their sense of colour is actually one of the things I've been drawn to the most. So but their shirts or blouses are just très chic um, and the one in particular that I wanted to draw your attention to is this sort of style. Now I'm not going to quote the names of the outfits or the, the blouses as they appear on Cezanne. My view here is to um, to have the picture as the vision if you like and then I can share with you some pattern inspiration. I hope that's okay with you um, but details of the specific items can all be found on their website. But this blouse that I've got a, um, a screenshot here um, of here, I just love this style and what I particularly am drawn to is the embroidery that they have or the detail they have on just one side of the blouse which I think is very clever. I love the plain nature of the fabric. I think that now enables the detail um, on the on the lapel and the button placket on the front to really do all of the work. And I couldn't help but think of the honey blouse um, by Fibre Mood. Now, there are similarities within these two patterns. Clearly, they're not the same. But in our world of um, you know seamstress, uh, we can. Um, take the bits we like and amend um, others, which is what this um, inspiration is. So as you know from the, the Fibre Mood Honey, I'll put a screenshot in here, that also has um, frill, but just on one side of the lapel, um, and that's what made me think of the Honey Blouse. Um, now don't get me wrong, the other elements, the beautiful frill around the collar, um, that, you know, that could be adapted to meet the more Cezanne style. Uh, and also the Honey Blouse does have um, tapered sleeves, but it has a lovely um, sort of a, a cuff detail and a bow. But there are elements there that I think are totally transferable between the two. Um, and I just really was inspired because until I'd seen the Honey Blouse with the frill on just one side, I thought, well, that's really different. And then when I saw the Cezanne um, inspiration there, the two things sort of tied together. And I just think that would look really chic. Um, I love the, the, the bright colours that they've gone for in the screenshots I've put here um, and you could do a similar thing with the honey blouse as well. I think that would be sensational. Now no French look would be, um, would be complete without a um, Breton stripe uh, top and uh, this is the inspiration shot I've gone for here. 
um, and I just love this. In fact, I recently made a molly top out of a black um, and ecru striped French uh, French terry, and I just love that the simplicity of that. In fact, the molly top would actually be a really good. Um, style to choose when you're using the, the striped Breton fabric there but actually I thought I'd keep it simple and the Mandy boat tee from Tissuti Patterns is a really simple boat neck um, and you could actually then just sew on some fake buttons um, as if you had a button placket on one of the shoulders and you really would have a very similar replica to this um, um, French French inspired um, boat neck um, top which I think would just be lovely. Um, another choice would be the Somerset Tea by Maven Patterns. Again a lovely boat neck um, and the Somerset Tea actually has lots of different sleeve options on it. You've got three quarter length, you've got regular sleeve, you've got a beautiful balloon sleeve with two, two depth um, choices on the cuffs as well and I think if you made that into a stripy fabric um, that would just be a, a really useful um, top in your um, French inspired wardrobe. Um, and then another sort of style that the Cezanne go for is a very simple but very stylish um, t shirt. Um, now, the one inspiration I've got here is quite a, it is quite a slim fit, but sort of a boxy style slim fit. Um, it really does let the fabric do all the talking. They've gone for a simple white t shirt here. And let's face it, who doesn't need a really well-fitting white t-shirt? And again, I thought I'd keep this really simple. There are many choices of t-shirts available, um, but the one I've gone for is actually the free pattern by the Closet Core, and that's for their simple tee. Um, and I'll put the screenshot in there. So across that, you've got a lovely shirt, you've got a simple boat neck, and you've got a classic t-shirt. And all of those will be highly interchangeable with the, um, the rest of the outfits. That I wanted to add in a couple of designs into the blouses and this is inspired by this wonderful top. Now this is actually a cardigan that I'm showing you here but this lovely rounded square neck was everywhere or is everywhere on the Cezanne site and probably two of my favourite patterns um, fall into this category. The first being a beautiful blouse, it's called Ma Première Blouse Apologies for the French, um, attempted French pronunciation there, but this is a beautifully simple blouse, and in fact, it is my first blouse. Uh, it comes with a full video tutorial. It is only available in a paper copy, so we need to send away for this one from Jolie Lab themselves, who are based in Lyon, and I have done exactly that. So I actually am the owner of this pattern and cannot wait to get started on this blouse. Got some wonderful options with it. It's a, as I say, it's got a rounded square neckline, or square rounded neckline. Uh, it's got a faux button placket down the front. So you are creating a button placket and then sewing your buttons on. You've got the option to have the button placket on the back or the front. You've got a wonderful choice of a frill on the cuff or elasticated um, wrist, which is really lovely. And the styling on this is just beautiful. I can see many, many of these coming into my wardrobe, which would be great. The other option, which I'm really, really keen on, is from Anna Rose, who again is a French pattern designer, and her patterns also come in English or French. This one has a really unusual neckline. You've got two, you've got a sort of faux collar, which is integrated into the neckline. I love it. This particular top has many different options um, that are available over on her website, but I love this. I love the styling of what she's done. So these two are probably my favorite picks out of the patterns that I've chosen, and I could not miss them off this list. <laughs> So again, sticking with the Cezanne style, they just have some really key pieces that I think are just perfect for anybody's wardrobe, let alone um, a French inspired one. And I've broken this down into various types. So the tapered leg, that's what I'm gonna start with here. Oh, I love this, so chic, so stylish. Could easily be worn with trainers, with boots, with shoes, 
with simple flip-flops in the summer, a hugely transitional piece. Um, and so this is one of the patterns I'm most excited about. Um, I've recently been learning and discovering the pattern designer Jolie Lab, um, and they are a French-based um, pattern designer, and they have a lovely selection of patterns to choose from. And the trousers that I've chosen to replicate this tapered leg style is their Innis trousers. Um, and this is actually a pattern I've purchased and look forward to sharing a little bit more detail with you on that in the coming weeks. But this pattern, oh, so stylish. So you've got um, a beautiful tapered leg, you've got full functioning front, front, front pockets, and then you've got the option of welt pockets at the back or patch pockets. And I think depending um, on how you style that, you've also got a mid or high rise. Um, and on the high rise, you could actually choose to put belt loops, which is super stylish. And I will share the screenshots from Jolie Lab um, on that. So I have actually got this pattern and I cannot wait to get started. Um, and depending on how you style it and what fabric you choose, you need to have 3% elastane for this particular pair of trousers. And I think you could actually make them look like jeans or you could make them in, um, in a stretch cotton and they'd just be a simple, stylish um, pair of trousers that would um, you know, coordinate really well with the tops that I just shared with you. Um, so very exciting. Another classic choice of pattern, I think, would be the Sew Over Ultimate Trousers. Um, this is a really simple pattern, and if you're new to trouser making, then the Ultimate Trousers is a great first choice. Now, they don't actually have a fly on them at all. Um, it's actually a enclosed, uh, sorry, a, a concealed zip at the side, and they're finished with a really simple facing on the inside. Again, I really enjoyed making the, the Ultimate Trousers. Um, I went on to one of their fitting courses last year, or might have been the year before actually, no, it must have been last year, I forget, but I really enjoyed it. And the trousers, once you get the fit right on these trousers, again, you can style those in many different ways. Super exciting. One of the other favorite looks that they have in terms of trousers is the wide leg. Now, there is a whole variety of wide leg trousers to choose from. One of my recent favourites is the Billy Trousers from Bella Loves Patterns. These are just such a classic style. Got a beautiful um, wide leg, uh, got simple pleats, pleats at the front. And if you made these in a, in a linen, I think you would just find the wearability across the season, particularly in summer, just lovely. And obviously you can go for a full range of colours there, would be just amazing. Um, also the Mitchell Trousers by Closet Core. I had recent experience of making these um, and yeah, just absolutely love the style. And there are actually two styles you can make with the Mitchell trousers. So you've got a tapered leg or you've got a wide leg. Some other favourite wide leg trousers um, and pattern that I've made a number of times last year was the Aina trousers by Named Patterns. Now this is a beautiful style of pattern. It's got a, um, a really interesting waistband in that you make it in two parts maybe even three parts. You've got the uh, the front two pieces obviously separated by an actual um, proper fastening fly and then at the back you've got a beautiful elast elasticated section and it's joined together at the side with some buttons. Um, a really lovely pattern feature but also makes it incredibly easy to fit um, because you've got the, um, the elastic there taking up any sway back adjustments and so on, which I found really interesting. And also that style can maybe be made in a slim leg as well as a wide leg. You could also make it um, in the sort of seven eighths, I think they call it, um, which is a very Cezanne style, um, or, or obviously elongate them and make them long. Um, so such, such variety in that pattern and I really enjoyed making them last year. Um, the last choice I had there for um, so somewhere between wide leg and tapered leg is a um, pattern called the Be Cool um, Trousers and this is from Anna Rose who has a lovely selection of patterns. Um, her patterns come in French and English um, on, in the same, um, in same instructions. Um, and the Be Cool Trousers here are quite a tapered leg but they're actually um, gathered in at the ankle with a really lovely cuff detail. Um, and again, I think these are made in a sort of a, um, probably a, 
uh, heavyweight cotton somewhere between it's something like a cotton tr um, uh, drill I think this would be really nice or a nice um, linen weight trouser heavyweight linen potentially would really show the detail off there something between a trouser and a jean style really oh, just lovely so jeans let's just talk about jeans in fact let me put some inspirational shots here of the Cezanne style of jeans oh, these have sold out across their website many times over in particular a style called Le Crop which I think also looks incredibly like the Anya style trousers but you definitely could see the lander pants looking like that the wide leg trousers um, from uh, Peppermint magazine I think they've got um, elements of that but one of the styles uh, or two of the styles that I particularly picked up on were the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans whereas you're probably familiar you have a choice of a wide leg or a tapered leg again offering you so much um, variety um, particularly <coughs> excuse me I think the wide leg in the um, shorter length are very similar to Le Crop for sure but also another recent um, pattern that caught my eye is from Chalk and Notch and this is the Isle um, jeans oh, I love these jeans I am going to make these at some stage because they have um, they have six darts in the waist um, which uh, and they're finished with a facing as opposed to a waistband with six darts in your waist you are going to get the fit just right to whatever you need that to do but also the aisle jeans have a beautiful um, uh, sort of it's like a I don't know if they call it boot cut I don't remember but you've got a wide leg oh no you've got a got a boot leg, a boat leg and a wide leg um, and and a number of different options around that but also these patch pockets that are on the front are reminiscent of a number of the jeans patterns um, or jeans designs sorry should I say that Suzanne has this year and I just think you between well between both the Megan Nielsen Dawn jeans and these aisle jeans you definitely can nail this look The final category that I wanted to focus on is dresses. Oh, colour, style, variety, something for every occasion um, over on the Cezanne website. Um, and I had a lot of fun um, finding patterns that match my favourite picks from the Cezanne selection this year. Now the first one, as I say, I, I don't know their, their particular names of these patterns um, and designs, but they're all over on their website so do go over and check them out but this the knot detail dress could not mention that one um, without thinking of the sew over it Estelle dress which is in fact what I'm wearing today and this is so similar to um, the the Suzanne dress and what I really loved about this so um, on the sew over it site you've got um, predominantly a, a, a long sleeved and full length dress I'm happy to share my own picture um, of, of me wearing this particular dress just here so you can see that for reference but on the um, Suzanne website was really inspiring they've actually got a much shorter version and a short sleeve version um, and again they've gone for plain bright colors which I just think is going to be so beautiful um, come the spring and summer and definitely one that I'll be adding to my list at least because I already have the pattern so I just love that um, so simply worn but so stylishly um, designed just yeah that's all I need to say on that one really um, and then we've got the um, this beautiful tiered dress now this is a little bit shorter than I would uh, I would go for but I absolutely adore the styling on this um, and when I was looking for patterns the one that caught my eye the most was from the um, uh, Bertin Paris I apologize for my um, pronunciation of that but let you put the screenshot here of that dress and again there's a number of options available for this one you've got long sleeve you've got um, a three-quarter length sleeve but it's this v-neck and the tears of the dress and the simplicity of wearing that that makes all the difference just think it's such a lovely style and I can really see this in a lightweight chambray um, or a double gauze in the summer 
um, and this could be such a simple dress to throw over your swimming costume um, whilst you're um, going to the beach or when you're going to um, go and have some cocktails somewhere at lunchtime or something oh okay give me a moment I'm just drifting off in, into summer there but a beautiful style that would look equally made, good made up in a double gauze as I say or a beautiful lightweight and drapey viscose in a beautiful pattern I think that would be sensational and then the last um, dress that I'm going to mention and no French wardrobe would be complete without it is a shirt dress oh, I love the shirt dresses and I will put the inspo shot in here they have um, this is a classic if you like and um, something that is restyled time and time again um, across the seasons with Cezanne and the pattern I went for in particular um, although again there are uh, lots to choose from is the um, Atelier Jupe Tilda dress I just think the styling of this is so similar um, and I, I look I have made this I made this last year I actually made mine in three-quarter length sleeves and adapted the style a little bit but I do think the styles are so similar I hope you enjoyed hearing my inspiration and seeing um, how I could bring that to life with our um, the beautiful selection of patterns from a range of designers. Uh, just can't wait to get started. Please let me know what you think below um, and if you've enjoyed this style of video then let me know that too. Don't forget to give me a, a thumbs up and I would love to hear from you and please if you would subscribe it would be greatly appreciated. Take care everyone.